great. Welcome to our little tour of the John Deere Tech program building and classrooms and facilities we have down here at Lakeland Community College. My name is Eric Ebersall. I'm from the Prairie State Tractor location in Dixon. I'm Joey Robinson. I work in the Freeport location for Prairie State Tractor as a student technician. We're going to start the tour up here in the, what we call the top shop. There's actually two separate shops. This is the bigger shop of the two. We uh, have spent a good amount of time out here, but we've had probably over half our time in the classroom this year, but we have everything from older sound guards to 8Rs sitting over there. Uh, we have engines on stands, same deal uh, from an old 466 to an I think that uh, engine there came out of a, it was a cotton picker, wasn't it? The big one, yeah. Yeah, so quite a range of stuff. There's skid loaders, um, there's some utility tractors around, and quite a variety. Look at the wall up there on the shelving. Um, you can see some of the things we use for labs for hydraulics class, and then a little bit of powertrains there with the ILS front end. Here's a tractor that we're using for hydraulics class. Um, we're rebuilding some cylinders on that back hole on the back of it. Um, gets you some practical experience, um, that stuff you'll see every day in the field. Uh, back here we have a lot of our specialty equipment, um, welders, presses, grinders. Um, these cabinets are full of pullers and basically everything that you won't find in our individual snap-on boxes. Each, whenever you're in a group, you're assigned a box and you have the basics, wrenches, sockets, screwdrivers, but when you need something specialty, it's either back there in the corner or in these cabinets and uh, stuff you don't use every day. Uh, here's a tractor that um, a class, I think they said five years ago, um, restored. I know last year they did some work um, in the transmission and uh, just another, another thing to get some practical experience and have a cool project uh, while they're at it. Here's a, a, not a very practical situation, but as you can see, we got a single row pl corn planter on here. Um, we'll put some auto steer stuff on that this summer for Apex class. And uh, it basically just give you, give you the gist of working on a planter, a single row unit, and then uh, the GPS part that goes into it. And because uh, that's a very important part of uh, farmer's operations is the GPS and precision uh, planting situations. We could take a look at the classrooms here. We probably spent 60% of uh, time so far, uh, pr prior to second semester, we, we were probably 70% of class class time, and then the second semester, it's closer to about half and half. Um, but like our electrical class, we electrical one, we come in here and we kind of learn theory of operation and use these test stations. Um, same deal with hydraulics. Hydraulics one, you kind of Learn the basics. Spend a lot of time in class learning the basics, the theory of operation, things like that. And then when Hydraulics 2 and Electric 2 come around, you get out in the shop and you real life stuff on machinery. So another classroom up in this top shop would be, this one was Matt's, that one's Russ's. Um, between the two of them, they cover everything from powertrains, hydraulics, engines, fuels. Electrical. Electrical. Um, air conditioning. Software. Yeah, software. And then when we go down below, that's where we have combines, planters, apex. Tillage, um, lawnmowers. Yep. So we'll take a look down there. Yep. So we were able to cram two combines in here. They both happen to be S series, but that is commonly, I guess, what we're working on. We uh, still cover things from older machines, and we took a field trip and looked at an X9. But um, we have a cutout of a cylinder machine. We didn't spend as much time on that as we would have 20 years ago, but they're not as common anymore. So we try to balance. We have kids from Kentucky and kids from Michigan, Wisconsin up there. You know, we work on all different types of stuff. So it's hard to balance what to work on at school here, but they do the best they can and we get the experience we can and go with it. So these are both, uh, what is that, 790? Yeah, 790 in the back and 770 here. Um, we're getting some real practical um, experiences working on these. Anything from changing feed accelerator teeth to putting new new uh, unload auger chains on. 
Um, we got more toolboxes down here. You can kind of get an idea of what we got in the toolboxes there. Just the basics in the student toolboxes and then anytime you need a, anything specialty. Yeah, I go hunting for it, but it works. Yeah. So this would be our last classroom. Pretty, pretty basic classroom, but it's where we cover a lot of stuff. If we come back out here quick, we can see uh, our rotor combine separator. Here's a separator out of a rotor machine. Um, this is a real good example to kind of give you some insight onto what things really look like on the inside. Um, if you've never worked on them before, it kind of helps you understand better the inner workings of the combine and what you need to do to get them set right and uh, adjusted. This is Russell New, our head instructor here at the John Deere program. And he's going to tell you a little bit more about uh, how you can learn more about our program. Thanks, Joey. So the best way is to check our website. It is jdtechprogram.com, or you can check the Lakeland College website. It is lakelandcollege.edu. And if you want to learn more about Prairie State Student Tech Program, you can go to their website and click on the Careers tab, and then go to the Student Tech Program tab and uh, read about more on there. Thanks for watching our little tour of Lakeland Community College and the John Deere Tech Program building and facilities. Have a good day. We'll see you next time.